Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Yasin, and um, since I put up my last video, a lot of people have been asking me about the widgets on my phone. In particular, this widget right here that shows the time and day with the little X under it, and also this widget that shows the month. And so I wanted to put together a quick video showing you guys that these widgets is called the Zooper widget and how to set that up real fast. Also, if you guys want to know the what's on my Android, um, basically everything that I have running on my phone, then let me know in the comment section down below in this video and I'll put together a whole video letting you know exactly what's on my Android phone. So this is Zooper Widget and right next to it is a couple of plugins, but I'll explain what those are in a few minutes. If you search in the Play Store for Zooper Widget, you will get two of them. One of them is the free version and the other one's the pro, which is the paid version. And the only difference between the two of them is that with the pro version, you can customize every single thing in your widget. Um, so you can go ahead and give it a try, the regular version, and if you like it and you want more customization, then you probably have to get the pro version. But this is what I meant by Zooper Widget is a widget platform. So if I press and hold the home screen so that I can load up a widget, scroll down to Zooper widget all the way at the end and I go and go ahead and select um, any size widget. As you can see, you can select any size you want here. So if I go ahead and just select a random size and put it on the home screen, you will see that nothing will happen. It'll say resize or tap to start. And this is what I meant by Zooper widget is a platform. Um, you need plugins and these are two plugins. This one is called Europa and the other one is called Huck Zooper. So all you have to do is go into the Play Store and type in Zooper Widget plugins and it'll show you tons and tons of plugins. And each plugin has tons and tons of different widgets. So that's the beauty about Zooper Widget. So if you click on a plugin that you are interested like this Oshia Zooper, then you'll be able to go inside and see all the different types of widgets that are inside that one. And I'll show you how to set it up. So if we go back home and tap on our little widget that we created, then we uh, have to select a plugin. So let's just go ahead and select the Hook Zooper. So once you select that one, then all the widgets that are inside that plugin are loaded up. So you can go ahead and scroll through them and find what you like and then you can further customize it. So as you can see there's tons of them. Actually that's the one right there. This is the one I use um, for my home screen with the time and date and you can just keep going through and if something that's in here that you don't like then you can go ahead and load up another plugin. So let's just load up this right here and when we load that up as you can see it's in there and first thing you can do is go into layout and inside the layout you have different layers for the different types of uh, things that are going on in that widget and each one that you select will show you it what is being selected and what can be customized that's for the bar this right here is for the text up there and this right here is for the other text down there so you can go into each individual section and you can change it you can move it left move it right you can change it what the text says you can put it in manually um, you can go ahead and select the sizing the color and like I said the customization is pretty much ridiculous like you can customize every single thing about it and then if you go back you can go to the next tab and customize the next thing and once you're done you can actually just go back here and you're pretty much done the last thing that you could do globally is change the size of the actual um, widget within the space that you selected or you can make it smaller or bigger and then the last thing I would do is click force reset that'll uh, force update I mean that will force the widget to update itself you can click home and then you'll see that your widget came up here. This one looks a little funny because the size of the widget that we selected is different from what this one is uh, meant for. So that's another thing you would need to pay attention to but you can always press and hold and then resize to give yourself a bigger canvas and with that canvas you can go ahead and change things around. So that's Zooper Widget. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions and I still didn't explain it very well, then definitely leave me a comment or a question 
uh, down below in the comment section. And I'll also go ahead and put the Zuper widget link where you can download it in the description down below and a couple of other plugins that I really like to use, including these two. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.